is the director of the Australian Astronomical Observatory. It's been changing its name with great rapidity. And he is the vice chairman of the GMT board. Patrick McCarthy uh, is the director of the GMT project. And Roger Angel is the director of the uh, uh, Stuart Mirror Lab. So those are the people you have to grill afterwards. The uh, four people at this table will talk about an aspect of the GMT project. There's a number of key aspects of a telescope, and I'll use this clever little origami model that our three colleagues have developed. The power of a telescope is how much light it collects and how much angular resolution it produces. The GMT primary mirror is 50 million wavelengths of light from across. That will allow it to see distant galaxies, planetary systems in unprecedented detail. So, in a sense, the power of this telescope is equivalent to 2 billion human eyes or 1 billion people all going out and looking at the sky at the same time. Oh, let's see. Oops. Second to mirror for the giant Magellan telescope, which will be second of a total of eight if the whole project is done according to plan for a telescope that will be located in Chile. Okay. And the, uh, the total mere collecting power would be uh, equivalent to a 25 meter. Uh, they'll be shipped to Chile as they're completed, the mirrors. Mm -hmm. So if the project does go full speed, there will be, the lab will be producing a mirror every year. 2017. The Casting takes a week, so right now they'll peak out later this evening at 10 o'clock, and then they'll turn the heaters off and it'll start cooling, but then it'll go into a controlled cooling for three months. And uh, when the glass solidifies, uh, uh, it could be later, a few days from now, they'll stop the high spin and it'll just be a gentle spin just to keep the oven from being in a different temperature in the lab. Temperature is 11, 1,165 degrees centigrade. That's about 2,100 degrees Fahrenheit. It's uh, hotter than lava, and, uh, but still the glass has the viscosity of uh, honey. So it does, even though it flows, it flows very slowly. Mm -hmm. Spinning at uh, about 4 RPM revolutions per minute. Mm -hmm. One time we, I was asked by middle school students, they say, how long does it take to build one of these? I said, 10 years. And they said, 10 years? I'll be 22 years old. The key thing about GMT2 is that it's really the beginning of the implementation of the full project. The primary mirrors are the, on the critical path. They are, uh, therefore, the, the more we can get on with them, the better. And that is what is happening today with the casting of GMT number two. Uh, I'm also pleased to say that uh, we're planning to get on with GMT number three fairly soon, and in fact, some of the materials have already been ordered. So the project is moving ahead rather well. It has three uh, international participants, two from Australia, one from uh, Korea, and it has seven universities and research organizations in the uh, United States that are also participating. And that will all come up in the discussion that we're, we're about to begin.